Hi, I'm Dave. Welcome to the channel. Today, it's time to say... G'day, legends. <laughs> so, as you may recall from the mega unboxing post-UK Slot Fest, I have got two Pioneer Legends. The one in the front here, the Ford Coupe, is one that was bought for me as a birthday present by Mrs. Slotar. And having given that to me at Slotfest, I then went and bought a second one, which, as I'm a bit of a Mopar guy, had to be a Dodge Coupe. These cars are not to scale. That is to say, a proper racing legend is a 5 8 scale replica of an old hot rod body. And these are probably 8 8 scale if you know what I mean. They're too big to be 132 size racing legends. But that aside, they're great. Uh, they come with a variety of pinions in them. They come fitted with a 12 tooth and they come with an 11 and a 13 so you can gear it up or down depending on the size of the track that you've got. And the car itself is really nicely finished. There's a satin black across the top there. The cream is kind of a metallic finish I don't quite know how they've done that but yeah it's a sort of almost white gold uh, with the total oil on there as well and the Dodge one is much more of a hot rod stroke NASCAR it, it's got the Sunoco livery it's got chrome slot mag wheels and Hoosier tyres it's, it's much more of an American feel to it which is fair enough because these cars race in America, I think mostly on dirt tracks with the sprint cars. Um, in the UK, they run on road courses and sometimes on ro ovals as well, I think. I'm not quite sure. I should probably look that up, shouldn't I? Never mind. So, of course, to run it on my Carrera digital jack, I'm going to need to put a chip in it. And fortunately... You can use a Carson chip for this. Now, Carson chip is a direct replacement for the DPR door in any Scale Electric or, in this case, Pioneer car, because Scale Electrics let Pioneer use their DPR door setup. Not very clever what goes on in the box here. It's just some instructions nobody's going to read. And the Carson chip, which is effectively just another Carrera digital chip with the LED on it. And it's fairly easy to fit. You just unscrew that door, replace that door with that door. So we'll get on and do that. Now there is one little thing with these, the LED kind of sticks out a little bit beyond the side of the, the door itself. And these Legends cars have a little pip there and you'll find that you might not be able to get the casting chip to fit in properly because the LED is fouling on that. So we'll just nip that out with a pair of side cutters. Fit the door in, screw it down. Plug the plug back in the top. Bit of oil on each of the bearings. A little bit of grease on the pinion. Now I think I'm gonna have a bit of trouble with this car because these tyres are not very round, and the wheels they're on aren't particularly round either. But it's just a fun car, but look. There's definitely more than a little bit of wobble on those. So I'll try and seat the tyres a bit better. 
see if I can get them a bit more round just like that and now we put it back together our chip when you're putting the bumpers on one side has got kind of a countersunk piece put the countersunk piece downwards on the pegs if you put it upwards you have terrible trouble getting the body on so there we are that's ready to go and I've done the other one as well so driving it with nothing more than some oil for some tuning so untrue tyres you can hear the tyres aren't round there's a, a sort of a chirping noise and a scuttling noise you can hear that the high spots of the tyres are bouncing across the tack, track and the the tyre is not gripping However, out the box, this car is quite a lot of fun. It's all about the out the box experience and then what you can do with the car afterwards. Oops. And for me, that car, look, it ran a 7.1 seconds. It's equivalent, without the magnets in, to some of my Carrera cars, really. It was quite good. So what I'm going to do now is watch Marty Ford on his live stream and true up my tyres with my new tyre truer. So what I'm going to do is condense about 45 minutes into about a minute and a half. Just take a breather. Right, that's enough of that. Mark is still going. Right, let's go back to the track with this. So what you can see is, not only have I trued the tyres, I've trued all of the tread that was on them off, and they are now definitely much more round than they were before. I'm not saying they're perfect, it's only the first time I've really done this, but it's going to be better. Instantly you can hear it's running smoother on the track. There's still a slight chatter in there that I need to deal with, but it is much improved. And it is much more fun as well, you can really throw it around. The very short wheelbase and kind of very wide track is really suited to my twisty little home track, so it's loving these corners.
So there we are, and by truing the tyres, we got down to a 6.5 seconds, so a full 0 0.6 seconds off, and much improved, much more pleasant experience. Now, there's one little fault with this, and it's the guide. The guides are very loose, and actually, this one's very loose in that direction as well. So, might have to change that out, or find a way of making that a little bit more secure. Other than that, brilliant little car. Really enjoyed it. So should you get one? Obviously I think you should get one. In fact, you know, as I say, don't get one, get two. They're, they're just a lot of fun. Don't take it too seriously. I, you know, some people are very, well, I only buy cars that I've seen race or whatever. But no, just get them, they're fun. If you've got kids, they're kind of cartoony. They've got that Cars kind of movie look to them, I suppose. So the kids will probably like them. They're brightly coloured. They're a little bit silly. Um, you'll notice the driver in one of mine has come detached a little bit. I'll have to stick him back on. But yeah, really enjoying them. I shall probably get some more. And of course, I've only got four controllers. So I only need to get two more Carson chips. And then it doesn't matter. I can keep swapping Carson chips in and out of all the different legends that I happen to get because I'm definitely going to get more and it's just going to be endless fun as far as I can see so yes more of this One, and we just finished with a bit of me racing against a ghost car yes ghost car with a Carson chip you can do it ignore all the things on the internet it's lies So once again, thanks for watching one of my videos. If you liked it, you'll find a button specifically for that. If you can subscribe to the channel, that really does help. And if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification next time I post a video. And check out this slot car channel, which is Jeremy's garage or garage of slot cars. And check out his latest video, which I'll put a link to in the description of mine, which is also about the legends.